Hello, I'm Timothy, one of the founders of friendsofwater.com with a brief description about the disinfectant chloramines in our water supply. Firstly, we've used chlorine as a disinfectant in our water supplies for a very long time. This is great. It's helped stop the spread of many waterborne diseases like typhoid, cholera, dysentery, and hepatitis A. This is, of course, a wonderful thing. However, disinfectants are, by definition, designed to kill living things. So that leaves the question open, after the water has been disinfected, do you want to ingest that disinfectant and absorb it through your skin? We'd submit that may not be the best health move. There have, in fact, been studies that show a high correlation between cancer and exposure to chlorine. In more recent years, more and more municipalities are adding ammonia to the water. Ammonia bonds with the chlorine, forming the new disinfectant called chloramines. There are two reasons this is being done. The first is that this bond is harder to break and it keeps disinfectant active for a longer time. So the house at the furthest end of the municipal distribution system, for example, will still have active disinfectant. Obviously, this has advantages. The downside is that bond also makes it harder to filter the chloramine. However, with the right media, it can be done. The other reason is the EPA has instructed municipalities to decrease the number of disinfection byproducts. Disinfection byproducts like trihalomethanes are in fact the health risk involved with disinfection. Chloramines has fewer disinfection byproducts than chlorine. Unfortunately, we've not seen anything to suggest that those disinfection byproducts are any less dangerous to our health than the byproducts of chlorine. And in fact, Dr. Michael Plewa, after research, has reported that the disinfection byproducts of chloramines are in fact much more highly toxic than the disinfection byproducts of chlorine. So, we're left with the situation where we do want the water disinfected, but we don't want to ingest these things. Many people have reported health issues resulting from the use of chloramines. They include lots of skin and respiratory issues in particular, but they're not limited to that. Chloramine, especially when it runs through lead pipes, increases the amount of lead in the water. Remember lead poisoning? Let's not go back to that. People who keep fish aquariums already know if there is chloramines in their water, they have to get it out or the fish will die. We submit this as a clue about what it might do to our health. Happily, there are things that can be done. We have at friendsofwater.com filters for the whole house, for the kitchen, for the shower and the bath that will filter out chloramines. People who stop exposure to chloramines often report that within a few days their health issues have been alleviated. We have no doubt that there are many, many people around the country who have some of these symptoms who have no idea, in fact, that they're coming from their drinking and bathing and showering water. And do not believe the reports that you have to spend ten dollars or $12,000 on a whole house system in order to reduce chloramines in your water. It simply is not true. Please visit friendsofwater.com for lots more information. Thank you.